What is your name? Uh, my name is Luke, but I like to be called J. Luke Smith, you know, make everybody think I'm professional. But, you know, just like J.J. Abrams. We don't know his first two names. We just don't. What are they? Anyways, that's my name, J. Luke Smith. So what's your name? My name is Taylor Meekum. So what's your name? Oh, well, my name's Raquel Kimball, but uh, my friends call me Lucy. Funny story there. Uh, you see, my mom gave me the complete DVD box set of I Love Lucy, and I spent an entire summer watching all of them. And my friends made fun of me and called me Lucy. But I don't see it as an insult. I think it's pretty cool. What is your name? Uh, my name's Dylan Chang. So, Taylor, where are you from? Well, I'm from Utah, and I've been here my whole life. Well, um, I'm kind of from all over, I guess you could say. Uh, I was born in Kentucky, moved to Texas, moved to Brazil, moved back to Texas, moved to Switzerland, moved back to Texas, and then I moved to Tennessee, and now I'm here. Now I'm here. Um, I am not from China, despite being Asian, like my little friend here. I'm from Hawaii. I am from California, you know? I always love the beach. Beach bum, beach, 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 beach. I really miss the beach. So Luke's, uh, you know, Luke's kind of like our, our boss man, you know, uh, as Dylan would say. Uh, he kind of keeps us together in a way that uh, none of us ever could because we're not tall enough. Luke, um, he's a, he's kind of our boss. Um, he kind of tells us what to do, even though we don't want to do it sometimes. Um, he also loves Batman. He just wears a Batman shirt every single day. It's like every single time I see him, it's like Batman. All right, I'm just gonna start calling him Batman. What do you think about Luke? Oh, Luke? Oh, dude, Mr. Boss Man, dude. Yeah, he's. He's the white guy, yeah? Yeah. He's cool. And what are you doing around here? I don't know. I think movies are pretty cool. They kind of made me the boss man. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just that guy. Whatever that guy is. But I like being that guy. What about Lucy? She has red hair. I have red hair, but hers is like red. Lucy, she, she let me borrow this, which is good. Except I don't know if she wants it back. I don't know if I'm gonna let her have it back. My favorite color is pink and my hair used to be pink, but now it's red, like blood. Lucy? Who's Lucy again? I never really got anybody's name. Is she, is she the one with the... Is she the little Asian one? She's the only girl. Wait. The little Asian's not a girl? Dylan is a special breed of... special. What about Dylan? What do you think about him? That's the tall white guy, right? No, that's the little Asian. I, I thought she was cute until I found out she's a guy. Um, Dylan, he's, he's a little bit more on the shy side, but when he does talk, it's freaking hilarious. What do you think about Taylor? Taylor. Wait, there are two different white guys? <laughs> Taylor, you've seen him work out around the office. What's with that? See, he has this like, this like ball that he carries around and he like squeezes it when he's really stressed. But the funny thing is like, I've never seen him not squeeze it. So I'm kind of worried, honestly. He's the type of guy that I could definitely have a joint with, you know? 
But, you know, he just, I think he needs one. He's always squeezing that ball, you know? And it's kind of distracting at times. But he definitely likes his water. He's always drinking that water. I, I never see him without a bottle of water. It's crazy. I, but, yeah, I, I do like him. I appreciate his health. He's definitely very healthy. So some of your... Uh... Some of your group members have mentioned that you were always drinking a water bottle. What's up with that? Just like to stay hydrated. Okay. What are you studying here? I don't understand the question. Studying? Uh... Sorry, I don't speak English. I don't know what studying is. Me? What am I studying? That's a good question. Um, like everyone else here, I'm studying digital cinema. It's, it's, it's digital media. What do you do at UVU? I'm still uncertain of the question. Why are you at school? <laughs> Not for a class, that's for sure. You know what I mean. Why are you interested in film? Hmm. Well, Long story short, I, the first time I saw Avatar was, it changed my life, we'll just say that. And ever since then, I've, I've wanted to study cinema. Oh, I've just, I've always just been interested in film ever since I was a little kid. Um, I like old, old black and white kind of movies, mostly. Especially like silent movies, like Charlie Chaplin is my boy, dude. I watched the Dark Knight series, and I thought Christopher Nolan, he's the type of guy I'd like to have a beer with. So the best way I found is to try and be a director, surpass him, and then have a beer with him, because he'd be my lesser by that time. Film has always interested me, ever since I was like a little kid, you know. Uh, me and my sister used to make little home movies together. We'd put them on YouTube. People are really mean on YouTube. I kind of realized that most of the members just look up to me, mainly because I'm so tall. But yeah, especially, especially Dylan. Man, she really looks up to me. Is there any other interesting things you'd like us to know? Yes, I am totally, utterly obsessed with the history, production, and film that is Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I love everything about it. I think it's wonderful film of making, and I think that it's really interesting to learn what actually went on behind the scenes to put this hybrid of a film together. And it's one of my favorites, and it really pushed me to try and do cinema. What do you do around here? Um, around here, I am the token Asian to prove that we're all not racist around here. Um, I don't actually know how to do anything, but because I'm Asian, people think I'm pretty smart. Um, unfortunately, I failed math. When I failed math, everyone around me failed math too, because, you know. Um, so I don't actually know how to do anything, and whenever someone comes up to try to, to ask me anything, you know, I just go, help, help, I'm being oppressed by the white man. Racism. And then they leave me alone, so it's pretty good. What exactly do you do around here? You know, I, um, I work hard. I, I'm, I really, you know, push the boundary of, you know, my limits. You know, I'm always, always doing something important. If I, if I were on an island and I could only have three items with me. Food. Video games. And a laptop. Those would be my three items. 
also Wi-Fi, but Wi-Fi comes with a laptop. What do you do around here? Um, I like to interact with others, and I really enjoy squeezing this stress ball. It really calms me down. What's with the Pikachu? The Pikachu? Oh, dude, we're boys, dude, because we're both yellow on the outside with a little bit of brown. Hey, where were we supposed to do that group project? Oh, sh Do I vote for blood or crips? Is that a question? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. Give me a real question. I'm ready. If I could turn into any animal, it would be a flamingo. Because I think flamingos are super awesome. 